So the Bundesliga is back this weekend, which means it's only right that we do a full manager 2020 simulation of one of Germany's biggest clubs. And there's none bigger than Bayern Munich, they're the dominant force of the Bundesliga, winning 7 league titles in a row. But by 2025, will they still be just as dominant? Let's find out. Well long story short, their complete dominance of Germany has come to an end, although they're still one of the elite clubs. But during the simulation they've only won 3 out of 6 titles, even finishing as low as 4th in 2021. They won the title in 2023 and 24, and 25 would have been theirs had it not been for goal difference. Bayern ended the season with 75 points and a goal difference of 29, but it was surprisingly Hertha Berlin who took top spot, joining them on 75 points but with a superior goal difference of 35. It's been a rough season for Bayern, they got knocked out in the semi-finals of the Champions League by Barcelona and then they lost the German Cup final on penalties. Before we look at the team let's quickly look at Bayern's managerial history and there have been a couple of changes in the dugout. Flick got the sack in March 2021 and he was replaced by Zinedine Zidane a couple of weeks later. The super Frenchman was far from super in Germany though and after about 11 months he was given the sack as well. His replacement was former Chelsea man Maurizio Sarri, who dons a different name on the game for some reason, he's called Jean Piero Ramiondi or something? But whatever he's called, he's been manager since February 2022, and his side ended the 2024 25 Bundesliga season with a 2 0 win over Wolfsburg. So let's look at who started for Bayern and who else is in the squad. In goal was Alexander Nubel. The Manuel Neuer era at Bayern Munich has come to an end, with Alexander Nubel taking the number one jersey, which is what's expected to happen in real life. Nubel will join Bayern on a free in the summer, and on FM20 he's been a strong presence in between the sticks, getting strong averages for a goalkeeper. And he didn't cost them a single penny. As for Neuer, he would end his career in Ukraine, joining Shakhtar Donetsk for £4.8 million. He would retire in 2024, and he's now waiting for a role as a goalkeeper coach. Bayern's current backup goalkeeper is Regen Ben Campbell, who is apparently German, despite having the name of someone you'd expect to see playing left back for Rochdale. Right back was Josh Kimmich. There's a familiar face at right back, with the versatile Josh Kimmich ending the season in defence. He's been a mainstay in this Bayern side throughout the simulation and a fantastic performer. I mean, just look at those averages, they're great. He's just completed his 10th season at the Allianz, so hopefully a testimonial is coming his way. Centre back was Benjamin Pavard. The curly haired Frenchman usually plays right back for Bayern, but in this game he was in his preferred position of centre back, where sadly he wasn't able to score another wonder goal like that one against Argentina at the World Cup. But Pavard has been another sound and consistent player at the back for Bayern, constantly getting 7 season after season, you can't really ask for much more. He was alongside Niklas Suhl. Consistency is key in defence for Bayern Munich, as this is the third current Bayern lad who is still roaming the Bavarian back line at the Allianz. And just like his teammates, he's been a consistent performer, which is exactly what you want from a defender. I mean there's not a lot else to say really, Bayern just have a core of defenders who can all play in each other's position and they just rotate, no matter who the manager is. Left back was Lucas Hernandez, our fourth defender and yet again it's another regular and a man who can also play at centre back as well. Lucas Hernandez is actually now the captain of Bayern Munich and would you believe it, he's been just as consistent as his peers. It's almost as if Bayern is really really good at defending. Centre midfield was Quarantine Tolisso. Yeah man, why won't they just sign someone new? Quarantine Tolisso is still a Bayern player as well by 2025, but compared to his defensive teammates, I don't think he's been quite as good. The 23-24 season was his best to date, with 4 goals and 9 assists to his name. There have been some different midfield figures at Bayern though, Donny van der Beek's been and gone, and the same can be said for Julian Weigel, while current day midfielders Leon Goretzka and Thiago Alcantara have also been sold. Tolisso was alongside Mikel Croissants. This Frenchman is also a current Bayern player, but he's quite a recent arrival, joined from Mönchengladbach in 2019. On FM20 he's only just started to find his feet in a red shirt, having been in and out of the team, as well as going out on loan at the likes of West Ham and Sporting. But he's just enjoyed his best season to date, with 6 goals and 6 assists from the centre of the park. He's had to compete with Philippe Coutinho though, who had joined permanently following his loan spell, which sadly means the big transfer to Newcastle didn't happen. How sad. Our third set midfielder is David Alaba. If David Alaba is still a buy-in player by 2025, it had been there for a whopping 16 years, that's incredible. He's a top class player too, and versatile as well, almost becoming the new Philip Lahm at the Allianz. Alaba has been brilliant throughout the game, and has also been operating in defence as well, such is his versatility. The only weird thing is that he's only vice captain rather than the first choice, but whatever. Attack midfield was Marne Odegaard. We move into the Bayern attack, and in case you haven't already noticed, there are no wingers in this system. 
That's why Leroy San is sitting on the bench after barely playing during his first season at Bayern, while Serge Gnabry and King Lee Coleman are long gone. They've even got Daniel James, but he's gone out on loan despite playing four Bundesliga games at Bayern Munich and scoring four goals. I mean, what else is a boy to do? Anyway, back to Odegaard, who cost Bayern £45 million in 2021. By the year 2025, he'll be 26 years old and likely to be one of the best players in the world. That's not how it's gone down on FM. He's just enjoyed his best season for Bayern and his average was only 7.03, which doesn't really scream best player in the world to me. He's chipping in with a few goals and assists though, so maybe it's just consistency that's the issue, which maybe suggests why he won't be long for this Bayern side. Up top was Herving Lozano. Ok, so we spoke about there being no wingers in this team, and it turns out they've just converted them into strikers. The first is Herving Lozano, who has had double figures in every Bundesliga season bar one since his £68 million arrival from Napoli in 2021. The Mexican has pace for days, and is clearly becoming something of a wizard when it comes to getting in behind defences, as his goal return is pretty decent. And finally, his strike partner was Samuel Chukwueze. Another winger converted into a striker, Samuel Chukwueze costs much less than Lozano, but he's been much more impressive in his first full season. He arrived in 2022 for £38.5 million, but barely played in his first two seasons. But the 24-25 campaign was his true arrival, scoring 17 goals in 26 Bundesliga games, including both goals in the 2-0 win over Wolfsburg. He now looks like he's becoming the next Sadio Mane that he's been touted to be, meaning Robert Lewandowski can finally start to think about retirement. At the age of 36, he's still a Bayern player, and he's still been banging in the goals every season. Providing you ignore the most recent season, of course. So that's Bayern in 2025 according to our Football Manager 2020 simulation. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Are you excited for the Bundesliga comeback? I know I certainly am. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you around.